Mason McCuskey, are you here? Okay, cool. See me in the. Oh, I already. Uh, well, best friends. Cool. Uh, see me anyway. And coming to the stage right now, Angela Bretz. <laughs> on land in the last couple of years. Some of them run by, by Phil Conrad, who opened this open mic. Uh, and I do it because I have a plan. And uh, like a supervillain who has Batman tied up... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Batman always escapes and foils the plan, but... I'm going to explain the pa the plan, and then, Steve, please don't try to spoil my plan. <laughs> I, I used the wrong analogy, obviously. Um, well, okay, there are some parts of the plan you might want to ruin. It's kind of icky. Um, so this is my plan. If there's one thing that's lauded in the internet age, and if I want to be applauded, I don't need to go on stage. I could write shit in my bedroom, gathering tweets and shares and likes. But despite it, I still head to gatherings known as open mics. Because fuck it, our creations need a community, and luck is preparation meeting opportunity. So when the double clicks or Weird Al Yankovic come to town, and every good opening act mysteriously comes down with a synthetic disease to which I have immunity, I'll be ready to please open rhymes with impunity. Because I'm a master of rhyme, I've got a master's degree, and my thesis was a rhyming dictionary. So I'll be wrapping my ramps, and you'll be clapping your hands, and flapping the panties that you happily planned to our fabulous bands, and I'll be nabbing their fans while they are crapping their pants. Yeah. <laughs> In real life, I'm a hacker and I'm super science knowledgy, linguistics and mathematics and some microbiology. But I admit that in the latter, I have lax methodology, and for that I say no matter, I present my apology. If your bladder had a splatter, don't be mad, I tried urology. <laughs> so back to the point. My plan is all about practice. The knack to seem much better than any surviving opening actors. And that may sound unfettered and conniving, but the fact is, they lack my well-honed stagecraft and immunoglobulin factors. Because <laughs> I'm perfecting my art and projecting my heart and collecting the hard-earned affection that's marred by those correctly called artists rejecting my protective injection Electing collective infection, ejecting a shark. <laughs> so maybe, I'm a, <laughs> maybe I'm a chump who's not much better than you, but I'll be number one while you're going number two. <laughs> I digress. I'm an open mic nerd. I require us to weary of hearing Free Bird, Miley Cyrus. When merely a chord or a word can rewire us and everyone's here to be heard and inspire us, then I'll engineer a deferred norovirus. <laughs> so now you understand why I'm facing my fears, embracing to be panned while embracing my peers. So there's no stage fright when the big stars are here. There'll be no cage fright, the choice will be clear. Because I write each night, I can guarantee you that my shite's not trite or second tier. And the light's so bright, I can barely see you. And I'll be the only artist without diarrhea. 